if 2 raised to the power of x squared over 4 raised to the power of x equals 16, then what is the real value of x? Pause the video right now and try to answer this question. And if you're done, comment your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. So, the solution to this question is very simple. First, let's replace this 4 with 2 raised to the power of 2. Next, applying some loss of exponent, the denominator, we can rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of 2x. Next, using some loss of exponent, since we have the same base, so what we're going to do is to subtract their exponent. So we have 2 raised to the power of x squared minus 2x on the left-hand side and bring down 16. Next, this 16, we can rewrite 16 as 2 raised to the power of 4 because 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now, let's focus on this result. And then, since we have equal expression on the right-hand side and the left-hand side and we have the same base, Therefore, we can say that their exponents are equal. So we have x squared minus 2x equals 4. Now, we have a quadratic equation, and our goal is to solve for the value of x. Now, to easily solve for the value of x, let's add 1 on both sides. Now, what is the purpose? Because the left-hand side, x squared minus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square trinomial. But before that, let's add 1 plus 4, and will give us 5. Now, since x squared minus 2x plus 1 is a perfect squared trinomial, we can factor this out nicely as x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. Now, we can solve for the value of x. Let's get the square root on both sides. And if we get the square root on both sides, we have x minus 1 equals positive or negative. Don't forget, we have two possible values here, positive or negative square root of 5. And add 1 on both sides, we get that x equals 1 plus or minus square root of 5. So meaning, we have two different value for x. We have 1 plus square root of 5 and 1 minus square root of 5. And of course, let's do a quick check of our answer. So in the first case, x equals 1 plus square root of 5. And if we do this calculation, we end up with 16 equals 16, meaning 1 plus square root of 5 is a true value for x. Now the second solution, the second checking, is when x is 1 minus square root of 5. And again, we will do this calculation and we end up with again 16 equals 16. Meaning, both values of x, 1 plus square root of 5 and 1 minus square root of 5, are the values of x. And those values satisfies this equation. And as always, we are done.